I'm Bambi Francisco with a segment of Lessons for Entrepreneurs, and I'm speaking with Sidney Manassi, and he's the CEO and co-founder of Liaise, which is a project management tool that just launched a demo. Sidney has been a two-time entrepreneur, Liaise being his second company. Sidney, for the entrepreneurs on Bader, give us three pieces of advice. Um, I say, how should you build a business approach uh, being an entrepreneur? Well, I think there's many successful entrepreneurs who've come from different angles. I think the things that uh, stand out for me as lessons learned is um, certainly back yourself. If you believe in something, go ahead and do it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, against all odds, regardless of how big or small the vision may be at the time mm -hmm. uh, or how impossible people tell you that it might be, do it. Okay. The second one would be to get early customer input and work with real customers to solve mm -hmm. real problems because mm -hmm. that actually helps to shape um, both the product, the offering, the messaging, uh, very early on. And mm -hmm. so that's been one of the you know, great things that we did at Liaise is that we had a number of products that uh, we brought out before, with the, the, before this killer app, that, which is what we believe we've got now, mm -hmm. which meant that we've, we've gone through many iterations. Um, and finally, I'd say, um, you know, break the mold. Be, be courageous enough to just uh, not put up with you know, conventional thinking or uh, always saying this is all how it's always done. And mm -hmm. you know, especially um, you know, having uh, founded a company in Australia and then having relocated to the Valley with my family, that, that's just been saying, right, we won't put up with uh, just whatever was the conventional thinking, but in the different markets we had to do. Um, you know, you know, we had to break them all to get where we are. And I think that's, you know, I'd, I'd encourage people to do that. Of course, all the mums and dads out there would say, no, let my son have a safe job, but I'd say, Back yourself. Could you talk to, uh, talk to something specifically that happened, like a failure or setback? Sure. Um, basically, uh, you know, the Valley has a great ecosystem for both funding, for services around startups. That's not the same outside of the Valley. And so when uh, overseas you try to raise some money uh, early on, whether it's angel money or VC money, you have to do things you know, very differently to the way you have to do it here. And often most people you know, either you know, give up or so on, whereas we really took the approach of no, we're, we're going to create the rules of how we want to engage with mm -hmm. prospective investors, customers and so on. And we set out and did it. So we did that. Um, early on we got customers to fund some of our uh, earlier development you know, in okay. IDs. And again, that was again uh, you know, when it was just Alon and myself, two-man organisation, it was you know, breaking the mold because, you know, big right. organization paying two guys to develop some IP that was going to be their own. But the lesson is coming here. You, you learn that you need to come here because well, this to, is the, to raise money. Yeah, well, no, the, the, in Australia it was, you know, break the rules over there, yeah. apply, apply innovation to even fundraising. Yeah. And then in terms of backing yourself, pack oh. up your family, move to the valley if you believe you've got a world-changing product. And that's what we did. Okay, all right. And also, uh, think out of the box. I think that was another thing. Yeah. Okay, Sydney, thanks very much. Thank you. I've been speaking with Sydney Manassian. He's the 